Welcome to Cape Chronicle. I'm Mike Rennick. The Discovery Playhouse has been in operation since 2006 and is still going strong. We are here with Executive Director Michael Tennisketter to talk about the Playhouse and the exciting things happening in it. Yeah, thank you, Mike. Thanks for having me on today. You uh, bet, Michael. It's Good to see you. Good to be here. Thank you, sir. I uh, hope you survived all the weather that we've been having, the ups and downs. Oh, absolutely. We uh, we, we, we always get through it. So, <laughs> so your place is actually a great place to be at, uh, no matter what the weather is like. That's right. Uh, 2006. So how long have you been the executive director for? I took over about two years ago, the end of 2020, and it's been kind of a whirlwind uh, ever since then. So we've been in that facility for a little over 10 years. Um, it started in the mall in 2006, and then we moved in there in 2010. It started so in the mall? started in the mall. Um, it was all volunteer run. It was open on the weekends. And then um, Leadership Cape, I believe, is what conceptualized it to grow into what it is today. So we're really excited for that, and um, we've been growing leaps and bounds over the past two years. So being a, a father, my kids have been in there several times, and it's been great just to see the the progression from you know how it started very early on. I think it was just the first floor uh, yeah. very early on. So just real, you know, take us through a little tour, so to speak, as you as you walk in the front door, uh, what people will see when they arrive and, and bring their kids. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you guys have been out there recently or haven't been out in a while, the first floor is still kind of the same. We have a lot of the fan favorites that were in there, the bank, the grocery store, different things like that. We are building on to those um, fan favorites and the things that have, put in, have been put in there for quite some time. Um, we're really working to put education back into everything that we do. We have two educators that are on staff now. We have several members um, from the university's education department that sit on our board, and we work very closely with them to ensure that we are packing education into our facility. We don't want to lose any of the play. We want to make sure we keep and even add to that, but we want to give that component uh, of education as the foundation for everything that we do. So our first floor is generally geared towards eight and under, um, and that one is a lot of fun. We started adding in some things for those that are a little older than eight because they could get bored down there. Sure. Um, but then our upstairs is where it's really at. Um, if you are an adult, you'll even enjoy our upstairs. When you go up the stairs, there's an airplane, a full-size Cessna airplane in the building um, that you can get in and, and pull all the buttons and levers. Um, we are currently expanding that. Uh, Cape West Rotary has taken over that, and we want to thank them for that. They're going to help us expand our airport to include a flight simulator, paper airplane launcher, a lot of fun stuff there. Um, next to it is the planetarium, which we've refired back up. We're excited for the eclipses that are coming up in October of this year and April of next year. Um, we've been working with uh, Astro Simo, a local group that is going to be putting on an expo with the city and the university in July to really push those eclipses. So our planetarium's up and running, and then we have our dinosaur lab. You guys might have heard something about that through the news recently. Um, we are the only museum in the country that we know of uh, that is currently offering the hands-on paleontology experience that we're doing. You can come in there on the weekends. We have performers that are trained to work with you, and they let you work with actual dinosaur fossils that came out of Montana. You do the paleontology work. We, yeah, You dig wow. through it all, find it. We're going to let you glue it back together, and we're really excited for, for that. And then as you move through through, we have um, a new zone that's getting ready to open up actually April 1st. It's one of our big events too, but we have a critter zone. Um, we have currently 14 animals that are uh, housed there. Everything from centipedes, tarantulas, uh, frogs, chameleons. Um, we have a snake. She's 14 years old and she's blind. Um, and all of that is a big goal to, uh, to teach people because a lot of times we're afraid of spiders and snakes and you know we think kill them all and then right. it's like why the are you afraid stuff. of them? Yeah, the yucky stuff. So we want to show you that you know those things are helpful and teach you about them and uh, show you things that you may not be able to see within our local area. We don't really have a lot of things that you'd see at the conservation center. We don't want to step on their toes. We like them. And so we want to offer some experiences that you may not have here in the local area and then necessarily don't want you going to St. Louis or Memphis for those if you can have them right here. Absolutely. So when you, you kind of answered this earlier, um, when you're trying to decide on something new to add, what what kind of goes into that, that thought process? Have you made Maybe seen something in another facility that works really well, or I know you mentioned that educational piece. It, it, is that kind of the underlying, you know, okay, this is, can, can hit that component, then yes, this could work for us. Right, no, that's a fair question. We have 30 exhibits in there currently, and 
Um, everything we do has to meet with our mission. In 2018, or the end of 2018, our board met and repurposed um, our mission. And our mission is to create learning laboratories for the local area for families and children to uh, make them better leaders and more responsible as they grow and learn through fun and play. And so anything that we do, that starts off um, as our core, as our foundation. And so we want to make sure that we meet that mission. And sure. um, it's absolutely true. When we go to other facilities or to our annual conferences, we see all kinds of fun and exciting things. And so we want to bring that back to our community. And typically, you mentioned uh, the Cape Rotary Club. Are, are, you, are you trying to pair that? exhibit with a local business or, or, or group of some sort? Right, um, it's a good question. We always get asked, you know, why does it cost so much to come in the door? Unfortunately, we're a nonprofit, uh, and so we depend heavily on community support. When you're in there, you'll notice quite a bit of organizational uh, logos around the facility. We try to match up them closely with those exhibits, and so um, we are always grateful to our sponsors who help make that possible for us. I know uh, April the 1st, you have an event coming up. Yeah. Yes, and we'll talk about that real quick. Breakfast with the Bunnies, it's an annual event. Um, we have pancake and sausage breakfast, all you can eat. Uh, we hide over 5,000 eggs in the course of four hours. Um, wow. The Easter Bunny comes out, we have chickens, ducks, and we have these rabbits, they're called Flemish Giants, and they're the size of toddlers, they're real. I've never seen them before until last year. They're gigantic rabbits, and the kids get to come out and interact with them, adults get to eat too. It's a huge event, and it's a lot of fun. And that's uh, April 1st, that, you can just show up for that? Uh, we'll have reservations. Um, all that's going to go live the first of March. Okay, so you guys can be on the lookout for that. Uh, and I know summer camps are big. Uh, right. when, when kids are out of school, and you offer those as well. We do. So check us out in July. Um, all that's going to be going live actually April first as well. All of our our registration will be online. If you don't follow us on social media, Facebook is our our primary thing. So um, check that out. We've got space camp and dinosaur camp coming up, and those are a blast. Even adults want to go to them. I was in your facility about two months ago and uh, hadn't been in there for a little while and I noticed you got a, a nice uh, meeting room party room so you do you do birthday parties you do meetings the, the whole thing we do everything um, and we have become so popular attendance has increased by 44 percent that now our theater can also be utilized for parties and events like that so if uh, we got about 20 seconds here yeah. if people want to find out more where do they go you can give us a call at 573-335-PLAY or go online at www.discovery playhouse.org or check us out on social media. Michael, thank you so much. Thanks, Mike. I've been talking with Michael Tennisketter of Discovery Playhouse.